Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title, and I'm so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And we just celebrate the name Yeshua, Jesus, the one that is and was and is to come, and there is no other. Amen. Amen. So we just give him all glory and praise. Amen. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, that's what we're going to learn about today. So please turn with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 70. And we will read verse 30. I will praise the name of God with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. God blesses his Christians with many things, with all the things that we ever need. Amen. Amen. But we need to bless him back. And the way we bless him is two ways. Just as the word of God says here. One is singing worship songs to Jesus, praising his name and giving him glory. And the other is, as the word of God says here, is to give him thanks. So we praise his name and give him thanks for all the blessings that he gives us. And we share that with others. Amen. Amen. Now turn with me to the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Amen. Amen. If you are here and you believe that Jesus, the Son of God, came incarnated from heaven, died, and was buried for your sins and mine, and you have repented of your sinful ways, brothers and sisters, you have the Holy Spirit in you. And the Holy Spirit guides and directs our path. The verse tells us that in all things, in everything, we must acknowledge God because he does help us with everything that happens to us throughout the day, everything. And so we need to give him all glory and acknowledge him in all things. Amen. Amen. The last verse we'll read is found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. And Jesus tells us, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And this means, brothers and sisters, is they are not proud. They know they need help, and they will receive help from the Lord. Amen? Amen. And we know that in the book of James, the Word of God tells us that God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. People that are not serving God have the spirit of the world, and they don't give God glory. So, brothers and sisters, we must acknowledge God in everything, never taking credit for anything, and giving God all glory. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, keep following Jesus by taking him as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him, and we will all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.